It feels peaceful and very loving. Like immediately there's a sense of, of just calm and, and home. And it's just so peaceful. The second I, I read the Quran or anything, I get quite emotional. Excellent. When I read it. And do you understand the Arabic as well as you? As it, okay, excellent. So you've got a deeper sort of connection with it rather than just the aesthetic value of the sound of the Quran. Excellent. And in your journey, where do you feel you are? Like, do you believe in Allah? Do you believe Allah is the one, who, the one true God who would worthy of worship? I, I believe, yeah, I believe in Allah and especially as, as a creator, I'm, I'm a scientist uh, and, and practice and there is no explanation to, to the universe, the except, universe yeah, of course. except God and um, yeah, there's that, that connection I have, I, I believe I when I speak to God, when I speak to Allah, it's, I do. it's that feeling and I, I genuinely All right. believe in Excellent. So you're already connecting with, with Allah. Yeah. So um, is there anything holding you back from becoming Muslim? Um, I guess family and uh, very common answer. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, my my adoptive family. So when I I left Palestine as a as a very young girl. Okay. Of course, with, with danger, but um, yeah. the family who adopted me are very um, they're very Islamophobic. They're very um, hateful towards Palestine. They're not very uh, really. They're very loving in the sense Des that they give me a home. Despite the adopting you. Yeah. Wow. Very confusing, and and so we can't talk about it, and and so it would be so rejected. So I guess it's fear, but also I'm I'm very. Uh, I, I always speak to God, so I just I don't understand that kind of. How can you be so hateful for something so peaceful and loving? Exactly. Exactly. I think, I think usually ignorance breeds hatred. Yeah. The fact that they may not know about Islam, uh, of course, may explain why they have such hatred or misunderstanding about a lot of beliefs that uh, but aside from family of course you and me we both will be you know buried alone raised alone all of this uh, is there anything in Islam which, which which you disagree with in terms of teachings and beliefs not yet no I've nothing that I've read or felt it's just been love it's excellent that's excellent so I'd like to invite you to Islam like you don't necessarily have to tell your family straight away on all these things you don't have to go singing and dancing about it by all means you can but you don't have to go and do all those things or necessarily change the way you are uh, only maybe an up upgrade to who you already are okay but the key is if you believe this is the truth and you believe that no one worthy of worship except Allah the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the final messenger Abraham Moses Jesus are all messengers of God okay um, if that foundation is there then tomorrow is not guaranteed for either one of us Okay, if we were to leave, if we were, when we leave this earth, which we all will, um, we want to meet our Creator in a way in which He's pleased with us. Okay, uh, and that peace you're feeling in reading, reading the Quran will only be increased by having that sort of uh, contentment inside. That not only are you uh, sort of uh, feeling that peace, but also you are living your life as a complete Muslim. Would you like to take your shahada? I would love yeah. to do that. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> so I'll say it for you in, in Arabic, inshallah, if you repeat after me. Uh, and then in English. Okay, you probably already know the meaning in Arabic anyway. Okay. Uh, and then from that point, uh, your previous actions, sins, etc. will wipe clean. You start your new life as, as a Muslim. And we don't just leave people to go about it and figure out things for themselves. We have a support system for sisters and for brothers as well afterwards, inshallah. So we can put you in touch with some group of sisters who can support you in your journey, inshallah. Um, and everything happens for a reason, subhanAllah, you're coming here today. A complete it, accident. Yeah, subhanAllah. <laughs> so, uh, is anyone pressuring you to do this? No, absolutely not. I just wanted to come. And, uh, wow, that's, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say it in Arabic, inshallah, if you repeat after me. You say, Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An la. An la. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. If you repeat after me in our English as well, so you know what you said there. If you say, I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is. There is. No one. No one. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. In truth. In truth. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. I bear witness. That the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger of Allah. Is the messenger of Allah. Congratulations. Welcome to Islam, sister. Welcome to Islam. Uh, we have some. We have some gifts for you as well, inshallah. Uh, a, a Quran in English. Okay. Um, and also a prayer mat to uh, get you started, inshallah, with the transliteration of the. Off the prayer, so you can start to pray straight away, etc. How do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm good to cry. <laughs> you know, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I was just making dua there.
well, I just send us one shahada to you. <laughs> she came. Wallah, you came immediately. I was just there. I was telling the brother. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't even mean to cross the road. No, it's fine. He was just making the. I was just making. I was with Ali. I said, Oh Allah, just, uh, and she came just immediately. Allahu Akbar. Allah, Allah answered his dua. He's fasting today as well. You know, the dua of the fasting person. May Allah you know? accept you. Alhamdulillah. May Allah open for you and doors of khair. I mean, I mean, it's the best decision you've made in your life, sister. Alhamdulillah. Come to Islam. And, and especially in this blessed month of Dhul Hijjah, the best ten days of the year. It's an amazing time to accept Islam. The doors of mercy are open. Of course, as a new Muslim, it's a clean slate. You start. And of course, we always tell new Muslims that it's a journey. There'll be good days and bad days. There'll be ups and downs. This is completely normal for every one of us. Uh, but you have the assurance of, of, of uh, Islam in your heart there. And like I so said, you live your life uh, as a Muslim now.